And hey y'all, it's Tracy with Mama's Comfort Cooking. Come on in. I'm about to show y'all how I assemble my smashed potato poncho. So let's get started. How y'all doing today? I'm about to turn you all down. Making sure I got everything I need. Let's pop some stuff open real quick. Get you going. How you doing? Consuela Miller. Hey, D Lady. Hey, Christina L. Perez. Hey, Lynn Green. Hey. Hey, Latoya Stewart. Hey, Douglas from Scotland. Hey, Yolanda Cunningham. Hey, Angela Trader. Diane. Heart is all I can see. Joseph Parker. Hey, Mahalia Willis. Hey, Velda Perry. Maria Garcia. Nancy Jackson. Willie Johnson II. Brenda Sanders. Sharon. I read it. Wanda. Jennifer. Lois. Adam Adam. Apostle. Charlene. Vera. Nikki. Bobo. Adrian Williams. I can't read everybody's name. Hey, Janice Martin. Hey, Rachel Milchel. Hey, TTTs. Hey, Alexander. Hey, everybody. So let me show y'all what I'm finna do. I'm getting ready to put this potato poncho together. A lot of people say they have problems assembling this potato poncho. So let's go ahead and put it together, shall we? I'm gonna move you over here and turn you down. I got a couple of them to do. So I thought I'd just come live and do them with you all. So the first thing I did was, after I boiled my potatoes, I actually put garlic butter, salt and pepper on them, smashed them and put them in the oven. They just cut right through like that. Okay, and over here, I have ground beef with bell peppers and onions and the taco seasoning and all that in there. Very good. Then I created a cheese dip. This cheese dip right here. Let me turn it around. This cheese dip is sour cream. It's two Philadelphia cream cheeses, eight ounces. And it's about two cups of Velveeta diced up. And it is a cup and a half of sour cream. And I mixed it all together. So I'm also going to use uh, some ranch dressing. I am going to use some um, Ortega taco sauce. It is Taco Tuesday. And I'm going to use garden combination style ragu. I'm going to do it more than one time. And I'm going to use some diced tomatoes that are um, the basil, garlic, and oregano. Y'all, I have, I'm going to need you all to really go to YouTube. I need you all to build my YouTube page up because I can't stay where I can't mention the name of the Lord. I just cannot stay. So let's get started. That's what they want me to do and I'm not willing to do it for money. I can't be sold. That's why I'm not going to do it. I had a review and I'm not going to um, not mention the name of the Lord. So listen. Let's get as many of these in here as we can. Okay. I'm making a potato puncher. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so first thing is first, let me get you centered so that you got a close up and you see everything. So now I'm going to add my spread. The spread is, again, Philadelphia cream cheese, two of them.
and some Velveeta cheese, two cups. This is how we do this. We're gonna spread spread all this goodness all over it. Now this is a fattening dish. <laughs> And I tell you it's fattening. Don't even call me about it. If you make it though, you'll fall in love with it. You can spread it as thick as you want it. Call myself making enough for two. So, that's what I'm doing. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some diced tomatoes. This is optional. If you don't want them, you don't have to use them. I'm going to add a little sauce. Because you got to have this as the cheese cooks. Then I'm going to add a little garden combination style for flavor. And I'm going to work that all in together. Mm, 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 mm. This is my smashed. Honey, somebody had to smash it. Potato puncher. Yes, the whole video is up. I'm just assembling this. But I do have a whole video up. I certainly do. Yes, ma'am. Somebody asked me that question. So the answer is yes. So let me move this and put the ground beef on it. Well, before I do the ground beef, hold on. I'm going to add some ranch. Let me do the ranch dressing. Let's open this ranch dressing up. Oh, you can look this recipe up, but you're not going to find it. But go for it and try. Let me know. over here so you can see everything. I eat it with saltine crackers. I, I'm sorry I can't read comments right now. I have to read them later. So I'm not ignoring anybody. And when I fix it, this one is Natalie's. And I don't know who she's going to share it with. <laughs> but she loves it. So she can do it what she wants. Next, I'm going to add um, some Mexican blend cheese. Mexican blend cheese. You can go back. It's a whole video up. And it is. it does have the title on it. It's called Smashed Potato Puncho. Please go and find the full video. It's on here and it's also on YouTube. I know if I'm already at almost 270, I'm at 370,000 followers. Surely I can get y'all to go to YouTube so I can Quit going back and forth with Facebook over unnecessary stuff. People in high places, wickedness. So that's the first one. I'm going to do another one for you. Okay? Let me pull you to the side so you'll see me make it again. I'm going to slide this one in the oven. I'm getting ready to do another one. Hold on. Here 
here we go. Let's get started. Got 2,000 people on here. Could, could 2,000 of you please go to um, YouTube and Instagram? Please. And follow me. I lost my own thing. All right, let's do the next one. Y'all ready? Here we go. So, the first thing I did was when I boiled my potatoes, I put my potatoes. I mashed them and then I put garlic, garlic butter, salt and pepper on them to give them this amazing flavor. And then I put them in the oven so that I could get them to be stable and get that crunch. Cut them in half. Some of them I cut in half. So once I get all these in, because all you're going to do is scoop really a good potato out. So of course, you know, I rub them in garlic, butter, salt, and pepper, put them in the oven. And then I'm about to build a potato puncher. And the ground beef that I used, I only... um put taco packets in there, onions, bell pepper, salt, pepper. I appreciate you. My name is Mama's Comfort Cooking on YouTube. Everything is Mama's Comfort Cooking. But I'm a Christian and, I, and I'm tired of not being able to name. I, I, I saw something the other day. They said Facebook was doing it, that they were blocking people and taking their page down. But um, I just don't understand how we can have cussing and adult nudity and violence and everybody's still up and running. It's a pat on the hand, but I, I am reminded that the kingdom of God suffers violence and it takes us by force. So I can't be bought. On a good note, I put a house on the market on Friday, and it's already on the contract, and just like that. So to God be the glory, won't he make a way? He always does. Get all that goodness in there, all between and everywhere. You're going to want that. That's going to give you this, this richness that you really can't find. If you were serving it, people would be like, what is that? It tastes so good. Right? Let's do that. These are um, diced tomatoes that have um, garlic, basil, and oregano. I'm using Ortega. Taco sauce. And I'm using garden combination style ragu. It's the garden combination style. Next, and there's a whole video, you all. So don't panic. Just go find Smash Potato Puncho. I've made this about two or three times on here. I've got one walking you through absolutely everything. Just go find it. I'm just putting this together today. If I would have just cooked it on the live, it would have just took way too long. I would have been on here too long with you all. So I'm just putting it together. Now I'm going to um, 
start adding the meat. So I'm going to run through the ingredients again since I can't read your comments. This is ground beef that I used. You can use turkey ground beef. You, if you just a vegan, you could use vegan crumbles and do this dish. All in one. I tell y'all all the time, it's too hot every day to be in a kitchen. It's just too hot. So, hold on. I'm going to run through the ingredients. Let me get through using this ground beef. I pack, I'm packing it on. You can cut a little corner, just a little corner. That's a whole meal with some saltine crackers. When I get through, I top mine with a little sour cream, and I put me some jalapenos on mine, and it's a whole entire meal. The cleanup is not bad. I don't have much to clean up. My spot where I've been working, this is my cleanup. That's all I got to do. I use this as a basis. I don't like to get my stove all out of whack. So now we're going to use Mexican cheese. The oven is set for 350. It won't be in there very long because everything is really done. So a good 30 minutes or so. Just enough to melt everything. Get everything going together. That's all. Hold on, I can't see any comments. So I'll answer questions when I'm done. I'll run through the ingredients again, and that's it. Okay? Now, when, once it's done, once this is done, all you have to do is um, cut it and serve it with crackers. That's what I do. It's a whole entire meal. So, I'm going to take some to the young lady whose house I just got under contract. And I sold her another one. So, if you're ever coming this way in the state of Georgia and you're looking for an amazing realtor, hit me up. Okay? I'd love to be your realtor. Have my uncle's funeral Saturday, so y'all. It took us a while to find somewhere. These churches, some that are open, they said no. Well, he has a church home now, he's a Christian. His church just was too small, and so we were out there trying to find him a church that would allow us to have it. A lot of people just want you to do graveside. And his daughter wants to have him a, a, a service. And uh, so some churches say, well, if you're not a member, you can't use it. And some churches were like, we're not open still. This become hard, very hard when you're trying to deal with death and then can't get, can't get everybody to help you. Get them in the ground. <sighs> Hold on one second. I'm going to put that one in the oven. I like to catch up my dishes. Y'all already know that. I don't play that at all. I don't believe in I'll, I'll clean them when I get through. Now, get them right now. Yes, 
messed up. I don't want these dishes looking at me. I'll get back over that short. I thank you all that have been sending money for the fans. And I talked to Chef Carmen today. And I really do appreciate her supporters for coming over and letting me know that Chef Carmen sent them. So we're going to get this in the oven. And uh, that's how we're going to do it. Let's get this one in the oven. Real quick, fast. Got a few more dishes to catch up. The other one is already starting to do what it's going to do. Um, I'm going to pull the tray out so you can see it. I ain't not being so nice. Everybody said because all they could hear was my voice. I was being grumpy. But I was like, when I was trying to teach. So it's already starting. So I'm going to put the other one in real quick fast. It won't take long. You'll get to see the outcome. <clears throat> Let me get it in here. Y'all know it's heavy. Look at all that on that side. Look at all that. Honey, honey. <laughs> honey, honey. This is going to be something true. Yes. Smash it, honey. Not only do I smash the potato, but when we get through, we're going to smash it. So hold on. So hold on tight with all your might. Because we'll be rocking like this for the rest of the night. This is Jolly Little, y'all. Y'all master rock. The rhythm on the mic is a sure disaster. Hold on. How's MC's crumbs? Some think we're soft just because we're humble. Y'all remember all them old sounds? <laughs> y'all say, Mom, Trace, how you remember that? Because I love music. Yes, I do. So... Hold on, I don't want y'all to keep looking at the stove. It ain't necessary. So, we're going to give it about... One of them got probably less than 15 minutes or so. Yeah. So, now here is... This is what I did real quick, a recap. I bought red potatoes. Those are the ones I like to use. You can use any kind. Then, I used one stick of butter and I added garlic powder I melted the butter put a little salt and pepper on the potatoes and then I took a brush and I brushed all over those potatoes I put them in the oven while they were in the oven I took two Philadelphia cream cheeses I melted them and stirred them I used two cups of diced Velveeta cheese and one and a half cups of sour cream. And I mixed it together to create that cheese sauce. Yeah. Then for the ground beef, I used 75-25. You can use whatever you want. 80-20, 93, 97. And I, when I was cooking it, not after I cooked it. But while you cooking it, you add your onions, your bell peppers, and for those that I cooked, because I was making two, I used four packs of reduced salt taco seasonings. And I only put in uh, half a cup of water for all that. Mm -hmm. Because you want to change the ground beef's texture to be like taco meat. And water does that. We've talked about that before. I apologize for this beacon stuff, but when I get off the live, they'll be deleted. Don't worry about it. No, it's all right. And then um, y'all saw me assemble it together. Also, I had diced uh, basil, oregano, tomatoes, you know, with basil, garlic, and oregano. I had um, Ortega taco sauce, ranch dressing. And um, ragu garden combination style. Those are the ingredients that I had. No, I don't write my recipes out. Because if you hear what I'm saying, you can write them out when you get still. And if you follow the video, I, I repeat myself a lot. Now, I only put it together, sis. Whoever said, do I write it out? So you can understand what I'm saying and don't say I'm being smart. 
I only put it together um, today, but I have three videos up of the smashed potato poncho, and a lot of people have made it before. You simply cut it, cut it, you'll feel the potato. That's why I leave them like that. You'll feel the potato. You cut around that potato. That's enough. Okay? And then from there, you can do what you want to. If you want to add bacon crumbles, you can. If you want to add sour cream, I do. Don't worry about this person that keeps putting all this beacon stuff on there. My admin, evidently they're not on here because they would have already been deleted. But um, sour cream, I use jalapeno peppers. I wish Facebook would let me. When I go through Creative Studios, I'm going to start just going on regular Facebook because um, they won't let me block people. Hey, Yvette and Terry, Yvette M. Terry from, it went away, but hey, can't find it. Everything's going so fast. Thank you for joining the Bible study group. I appreciate it. But I'm going to have to get off of, well, I can't go until God tells me to go. But I realize they pick it who they want to pick it. And I'm not going to be a bargain. I, God didn't ever tell me to go on here to make money. He just told me the next, next time I cook, turn my camera on. And that's what I'm going to keep doing. I'm, I, I'm at peace with that. Because I haven't heard him tell me not to do it. And my obedience is better than my sacrifice. But he also has made other ways because YouTube has offered me monetization. And I'm in the process of setting it up. I thank God for that. So whichever way and however he takes me, Christians, thanks to God, we cannot settle. We cannot be bought. We will fight. We will win. Um, some people will say, well, just quit talking about him. Will you quit? And when you when you quit talking about him and you need him and he don't answer you, he don't heal, deliver, or set you free, then you'll realize you should have mentioned his name because the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And we can run into it and be safe. Hey, from Nebraska. Hey, Sue Pe uh, Peterson. So please, can y'all go on over there to YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok and follow me? Also, Follow me on my Bible study page, Bible study with Mama's Comfort Cooking. I appreciate it a lot. And I'm going to put this up. I'm going to save this video and put it up on YouTube. I got a couple of more that I did here that I'm going to put up. And the good thing about YouTube, too, they have captions. So I am going to start going live on YouTube a little bit more. I just got to get used to the platform. There's nothing wrong with YouTube. I was talking to some YouTubers that's why they decided to pick YouTube over Facebook because of um, foolishness. So, um, yeah. So, with that being said, you just have to kind of learn another way, another app. I have some fried chicken tutorials. I can do a new one for you. And show you exactly what to do step by step with your chicken. You know, I did do one to show you how you can cut into it on the back side to make sure that that bone does not have any um, blood still in it. Hey, Rochelle Moore from California. Hey, Andre Walton. You see, I'm screeching, don't you? So, you know, I'm going to build up YouTube. Um, I know I know what the Lord says, and I know demons tremble, and I know things start to fall apart. And maybe the owner, I don't know if he's an atheist or not. I don't really care. But I know without all of us, without Christians, this platform won't be much longer. If we stand together, we move together, and we walk together, that's what happened with Daniel. Daniel was put in a lion's den because he was upright. 
Somebody got jealous because he was doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. Some some cooks on here cook, but they don't teach you how to cook. I'm trying to teach you how to cook. But because I talk about God, it's offensive to them. Um, people can curse. They can have guns. They can be naked. And they can get their monetization. Well, I'm just, I just won't never get it. Because I'm not going to stop talking about the Lord. You're right, Mary. I'm not. I refuse to. I'm not going to serve another God. I'm not going to bow down. Maimon is a God. And I'm going to keep the rock silent for me. I don't want no rock crying out in my name. Mm -mm. One day, y'all, I was so crazy. I went and picked up a rock. I sure did. Because I wanted to see the mouth on that rock. And I told that rock, you know, they say you got a mouth. You keep quiet. People kick you. Mm, that's a message. People throw you around. Mm -hmm. People dog you out. But then if I step on you, you can hurt my feet. Wow. That's deep, ain't it? But I told that rock, me and you ain't going to have no problem. One, I don't walk outside barefooted. And two, you ain't going to speak for me. No rock going to cry out in my name. <laughs> Honey, think about what I just shared with you. Take that wisdom and hang it around your neck. One day when you went bored and ain't doing nothing, pick you up a good rock. And turn it all around and look at that rock. And you tell that rock, they say you got a mouth. And if I don't praise you, if I don't praise God, that the rocks are going to cry out in my name. But I'm here to tell you, I'm here to serve you notice. You ain't crying out in my name. I know we throw you around. Mm -hmm. I know we skip you across the water. Mm -hmm. I know we move you from here to there. Mm -hmm. We kick you out of place, yeah. I know it's hard to walk on you, but you ain't going to talk for me. <laughs> now that's deep. I got one soul that can't be bought. I got to give account. So don't keep worried about the stars. Don't worry about the supportive ads. Y'all already support me. One, you pray for me. Two, those that can cash out me when they can. And that's how you better keep it. Mm -mm. I don't care who you watch on here. You do what you can do. Mm -mm. Don't you do it. Because I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. So I thank God. I thank God. I thank those that said, I'm going to cash up you. Instead of giving it to them, I'm going to cash up you what I would have paid for stars. I appreciate it. Because y'all good to me. And we good together. We going to keep cooking. And by any chance, don't think I'm going off this page because they keep picking with me. They just keep on doing it. And they'll say, clean up your page. And you know ain't nothing on here. You know ain't no cussing on here. Ain't no music playing. Ain't no TV. I just teach and talk about the Lord. So I already know who it's about. But they better get ready for the great falling. The Bible speaks about a great falling away. Touch not his anointed and do his prophet no harm. Yeah. You have to be very careful right there. Honey, honey. I seen a honey, honey come through. If y'all agree with me, it's honey. You say amen and honey, honey. My PayPal address is on my um, website. I have a website where people order the sauces and it's www.mamascomfortcooking.com. One of these are about ready to come out the oven. I can smell it and it's about ready to come out. Did you make it, Diane? Did you make the breakfast casserole? You said that right, Katrina. Um, God would never leave nor forsake. I didn't bring my glasses in here. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not going to stop telling y'all when God tell me to tell y'all something. A lot of times I see names and I pause because God has shown me something. 
or sometimes I dream. Then somebody come across here and say something and it's be like, hmm. Like how we did last Saturday. Hey, G. Lizzie, how you doing? So if I skip you, hey, Melinda Grayson. Y'all, let me take one up out so you can see it. Welcome home, young lady. Guess what Kelvin got me? Oh. You I already know, know sis. You already know. Hey, honey, honey. You made you some you new slime. No, Kelvin actually got this for me. I know. She, I, We can actually mix them up. Uh-huh. And I played beautiful. with it. Oh, you like I, it? I already mixed them one other colors up. You see this color? Hey, I'm doing good, G. Lizzie. Can I say How hey? you doing, beautiful? Can I say hey. With the hey. Come on, hold it right, baby. They can't see you. Tell them your name. Avery. Tell them your whole name. Avery. <laughs> they can't see you. Say your, say your whole name. Avery Janae Mitchell knows before I take the details. Not Mitchell knows. Avery ah. Janae knows Mitchell. Avery Janae knows Mitchell. Tell them how you are. Eight. All right. You love the Lord. Who crying? Nobody crying. Yes. Where? Stop crying. Who crying? Well, I like that kitty cat. Hey, hey, honey, behind it. Got food gonna come out. They said, hey, pretty girl. And hey. they like your hair. Thank you. We didn't rubber man. Tell them them you got a tan, don't you? Because okay. you went what? Swimming. Mm -hmm. You like to swim? Yes. Well, I got the rubber bands. Yeah, I put them so it won't come down. Let me show y'all one of them real quick, honey. My husband, when I come home. Just make me smile. I love that man. I don't care. He bring home the bacon and fry it up in the pan. He provides for his family. He is a great provider. Honey. We want for nothing. Do you hear what I'm saying? So we're going to keep talking about the Lord here. And since they picking at me, I'm about to start playing some gospel music. <laughs> I'm about to start having me some church. I ain't studied folk. Come on, let me show you. Let's look, let's take one out the oven. Whew. Hold on. But yeah, my, my uncle's funeral is gonna be Saturday. Let's get you put up here. So y'all keep praying for me and my family, okay? That's a hard thing to deal with, but it's a part of life. I understand that. Yeah. He was look a good uncle. Oh, look at that! Come on through. Mm -hmm. I know how much time everything Mom. takes to cook. Just, oh. Just oh, Lord. That's the first one. That one in the middle. Come on over here. Y'all quit playing. Y'all know y'all want to see. Y'all better stop it now. I'm not playing. Look at that. Get in now. Hey, Sister Tracy, can you back it up? Mm -mm. Can you back it up? Mama Trait said, can you back it up? Uh-uh. Can you back it up? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Smash it. Smash it. Smash it. I ain't going to stop Oliver Kelly. So I'm going to cut into it, but I'm going to cut into the second one. Hey, Kawana Washington, I love you. Hey, Jaylene Richardson, I love, I love you, cousin. So this is my cleaning lady, Natalie. Natalie gets spoiled. She's getting a little bonus tonight and um, because I missed her last week. So I can't cut into Natalie's. Y'all got to wait till mine comes out the oven. Then I'm going to cut into it for you. So you got to give me, and you got to put up with me for about another 10 minutes. And then I let y'all people go. That's weird. Huh? That's weird. She just gave me this. That's not weird. That's called nice. Why you say something like that? Look what Natalie brought Avery. I thought it was going to be a big surprise. That is a big surprise. That's a beautiful ring. And my fingers are small. 
I can okay. wear something that fits on Avery's finger. Yeah, you? let's let's see our fingers. Push it down on there. There you go. You like you? They don't wear your wedding ring. That could be your wedding ring. I know. I don't wear my wedding ring much because I cook all the time. You can wear that sometimes. That's pretty. Natalie bought that for Avery. It's so. I'm gonna cut into one for y'all. The one coming out the oven. What are you cooking, Miss Ma'am? So y'all be praying down heaven and praying that y'all will go over there and follow me and build that page and that YouTube and that Instagram up and TikTok. I don't know what to say in a minute. Child, I got to figure out what to do on TikTok. God got to help me. I don't know if I'm supposed to be ticking, talking because I can't say everything in a minute. Ava, bring me some glasses. So look, so... I'm going to be shooking corn. Tomorrow, we're going to make a banana pudding. Mm-hmm. But my banana pudding, I use cream cheese in it. Okay? So, we're going to make one together. And um, we're going to do... I got to shook some corn. Um, I got about 15 ears that I'm getting ready to cook for Sunday. And then one day we're going to do yams. One day I'm going to cut up and steam a cabbage. All of this is getting ready for my guests that I got coming from YouTube. And um, Facebook that I met on Facebook. And they're going to come visit, so I'm going to cook. <laughs> yes. My company from Facebook that I met. Is coming in from Kentucky to meet me. So I'm going to be prepping and cooking uh, so that I don't be exhausted because I do have my uncle's funeral on Saturday. They're going to hang out on Saturday until the funeral is over. And then I'll come back and entertain them. They're going to go to church with me on Sunday. And I just thank God. I just thank God for the saints. I thank God for the people that choose to follow me. I know I'm a little different. But I just want people to learn uh, an amazing art that was left for our fa forefathers. And when you see mean faces on here, it's people that said something that wasn't necessary and they got blocked and they still watching me. Well, let me tell y'all something. I want them to keep watching me, but I want them to listen. That's what happens in the kingdom of God. We come to church and a pastor be trying to talk and we be talking over them. Sometimes we just have to be still and listen. Now, I take every song I want to, and I turn it into a gospel song. I got five more minutes. Beyonce had a song, or she has a song. And I do, let me say this. I appreciate my cousin, DC Youngfly, on his Instagram. He paid honor to our uncle today, or yesterday. Thank you, John John. I appreciate that. Because he was a good uncle. But listen, God uses me different than a lot of people. And uh, Beyonce. Mm -hmm. Beyonce knows. Mm -hmm. Same said. She wrote a song. And one day I was laying in my bed and it ministered to me. I was going through something. But God turned it around in my mind. And it was like, listen to the sound here in my voice. The melody I'll start but won't complete. Listen. And you know, it kept doing all that. Well, what really started breaking me down, because I don't know all of the song, but she said, I am alone at a crossroads. Yes, I am, Willie Johnson II. I'm not at home on my own. You, you see them ears? So I try and try and say what's on my mind. Oh, 
Now I'm done believing you. You don't know what I'm feeling. I'm more than what you make of me. I'll follow the voice God gave to me. And I'm going to have my own. Listen. So that song ministered. And God said sometimes we're at a crossroad. And we're not at home in our own home. This body. We're not at home. Not in our own home. This is rented. We can't take this. The flesh can't go to heaven or hell. It goes back to the earth. There's no place in heaven or hell for the flesh. But sometimes we're at a crossroads. We're not at home in our own home, honey. And then finally, she had to just speak. To this man that was holding her down. And she said. Now I'm done believing you. You don't know what I'm feeling. I'm more than what. The book makes of me. I'm following the voice. God gave to me. And I'm going to find. My own. I must listen. And that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Won't he change something around for his glory? Don't think you can't change something for God's glory because every gospel singer is not living what they sing. I'm I'm sorry. Some gospel singers are, are sinning worse than us. But they just got a gift and the gift comes without repentance. Thank you. Let me take this out the oven for y'all so I can let y'all good people go. Because something about me today, they really stirred me up today with they mess. It made me really want to preach on him. So let me go get this stuff out the oven. <laughs> Hold on. Let me, let me get the second one out so I can cut it for y'all. Hold on. Oh, I got close, didn't I? Just to be close to you, girl. For a moment, baby. Oh, honey, it's perking, too. I'm going to turn you around. Hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, boy. Those things are heavy, though. Okay, let me turn it around for you. I'm going to cut into it. But you know how y'all do for me. So before I turn it around and cut into it, I'm going to swipe the comments. Go ahead, y'all, and get the picture. I appreciate you. Thank y'all. Y'all are amazing. I'm going to start posting some of the pictures. Look at that. Thanks, sis. Thank, brother. Get that picture for me. Okay, somebody say, got it. Side by side. Y'all got it? Did y'all get it? Okay, before I cut, did my picture get taken? I'm waiting for somebody to say they got it. Thank you, Willie Johnson the Second Glory. Now we can cut it. That's why I love you, Willie. That's why I love you like I do. I... Hold on, y'all. So, when I cut into this, I'm going to use a saucer. Just a simple saucer. This is not a big plate. This is a saucer. Just a tiny little saucer. That's, how, that's what I'm going to use, okay? So, now I'm going to cut into it. Get in there. Move over, Natalie's. See, you, that, that's one big potato. Look at that. Honey, honey, honey. Honey, get in there. Put some more meat on there, a little more potato. That's all. Okay. 
Hold on, let me, y'all stop fighting me. Let me put it down, let you see it. Get in there. You say you want to see the layers. I was gonna let you see it. There it is. Well, Google it and see if you're gonna find the recipe, but you ain't gonna find it. Got it. Ooh. Get him. Got him. <laughs> honey, honey, come on in now. Now, this is all I do to mine. Let me put mine down. Let me move y'all right there. I just get me a couple of jalapenos. Put it down in there a little bit more. Okay. I'm putting a little sour cream in there. You know, of course, you can let it cool down. But y'all ain't going to let me let it cool down. So, I might as, might as well let the demonstration begin. So, I just add me a little sour do a little dollop of daisy, honey. Just a little dollop. That's all I do on mine. And I put me some jalapenos on there. So hold on. Sometimes I use whole dice, whatever I can come. These are Jimette Homemade Love. I love me some Jimette Alexander. She has a page called Jimette Homemade Love. She sells preservatives. She sells um wine. Jelly, Jimette's homemade love. I like a little kick to mine. I shout out anybody. I don't charge. I'm not into it like that. I'm not self-centered. I'm not threatened. I'm not intimidated. But you got to be a helpful one to another. If you're going to grow, that's all I can tell you. Let me find um, my crackers, my saltine crackers. Where are these? Oh, here they go. And I eat them with some saltine crackers. So, let me, um, let's go into the dining room. Come on, y'all. Go into my dining room so I can sit it down. Okay. Let me get a close-up for you. Okay, is that close enough? Mm -hmm. How does that look? Father God, we thank you for this food we are about to receive. We ask that you bless it and stretch it in Jesus' name. And Lord, bless the hand that prepared it. Amen. Let's take a bite. Let's see what we're working with. I always like a little jalapeno in my stuff. Give me a little potato. Y'all know I have to be careful with this dish because y'all do know it's hot. So bear with me, honey. Honey, honeys. Y'all know one thing about being kin, the people that's already got a celebrity status is they don't remember you no more anyway. Look at that. Family is not family like they used to be. So please share my, my video right now because it keeps my, this page growing and circulating. Look at that. So I know y'all want me to taste it, so I'm going to taste it, okay? Hmm. 
Hold on. Mm, taste it. Mm -mm. I'm going to tell y'all something. It's so good. The recipe, I did it over and over. There's three videos of this. So this is how I eat mine. I cut some of mine. And I always take mine. And I put some of it on a cracker. Believe it or not, y'all, I got to go to work. I got to go to a client's house. And I do it like this. I'm going to take my client some of this food. Mm -mm. Check Messenger. You know, people have been so mean on Messenger, I don't check it no more. But you can go to Mama's Comfort Cooking at gmail.com. Every now and then, or one of my um, people to check it, but... I get tired of the negativity. Being mean for no reason. Taste that. Look in there. Look on the stove. Oh my goodness, Jesus. <laughs> Glory be to God. Mmm. My man. Natalie would eat a whole potato punch up. Oh, well, do they? They don't have to be on. Um... That's bad. You turn them on. Natalie will eat a whole potato pancho in two days. I kid you not. Child, that potato be all through there. You don't have to look for it. It's smashed. There's a whole potato right there. It's in there. It's, it really is. You don't see that red potato? Yeah. It's not just me. Mm -mm. Mommy, mommy. Look at that potato. That's potato. Mommy, mommy. Huh? When I used the bathroom, I used to go just the bottom, just the bottom. It was bad. Trained in, and it still has a taste of it. Oh wow! Well, you don't, you don't want to get them to start tasting it. You ready to share? Mm, 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 mm. My foot is asleep. Oh, Lord Jesus. Can't do anything. Shake it. They say, hey, Nat Nat. Can you make sure you got that? Natalie, they say, hey, baby. Hey. Milk, <laughs> it does the body good. <laughs> oh, Lord. Tell it. them how many days it's going to take to eat that big potato. How Come you on. do? Uh, one and a half days, maybe. You just splurge, don't you? Um, I eat. The other time I eat chocolate and sugar and sweets. Some people just ain't meant to be big. Because Natalie eats. If I went to the places I wanted to do and not got here in my gut, I'd be okay. We you want to go? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, your bedroom is looking so good. Mm hmm? It was good. What? Your bedroom. Oh, okay. That's the only thing I thought. My room? Mm, you, you already did your room. Now, give me that coconut water on the door. Why do you always say room with me? I love Natalie. That's but why I do what I do. When stuff. I went to work today, I knew Natalie was coming, so I went by the grocery store. And I came to make her potato poncho. Because she missed me. She even said, is something wrong? Are we good? Are we good? I'm like, yeah, I just got back from vacation. Oh, well, I missed you. <laughs> I'm good to you, ain't I? Yeah. Yeah, family. My family. Because I need to make myself at home. <laughs> Y'all need to see it again? Just left. Natalie eat her whole thing. I love it. I don't know what it, I don't know the taste of it. It could be like a loaded chili Mexican. 
It's a combination. It is such. Yeah. And that cream sauce at the bottom hits just right. Look at that. Let me turn it so you can see it. It's, it's loaded with potatoes. <laughs> you see it? And meat. If I, if I could control myself and only eat just a little bit at a time and share. See, that's a potato. It's smash. You got to smash it, honey. That's why I name it Smash Potato Puncher. If somebody makes this, y'all going to say, they got it off of Mama Comfort Cooking. Maybe somebody big time will make it and share that they made it. You never know. But this is a, an original dish for me. I may make it again for my guest. I went to Myrtle Beach. Mm -hmm. oh, Remember, um, Mama? I'm going to be live on this page and son's going to be live on his page. We're doing a concert. My son's doing a concert. And me and Kelby and stuff, we're part of it. And it's going to be this Thursday at 7 p.m., huh? Can I show my sons before you get started eating right now? Can I show them? Can I show my slimes? Can I show my slimes? Somebody said something, but... For me? For me? Can I open up my slimes and show them? Can I show my slimes and show them? Hey, Miss Nancy Brown, I love you. Yes, I do. What's a crazy question? I didn't get it. Hey, you didn't bring me no glasses. What glasses? You okay? That's why I can only eat a salsa full of this. From UPS? Yes. Yeah. Put the box down because I saw it. You want to get it in? Put the key in. Mm -mm. Why are you bringing the PS box in? Hey, but all these windows is out. No. Ain't nobody out there. Mama, you were just out here. Well, I would have saw him, Avery. They would be lying. Mom, Bring it in. I, okay. Bring the box in. I get a weapon. She just my go outside. I'm just joking. <gasps> Told y'all. Oh, hey, King P. Carlos Angeles. Hey, girl. Hey. Rose Collins, come get your son. Mm -hmm. I'm calling you. Don't worry about all these people that keeps on bothering y'all. I delete their comment when I get off. It's Tuesday. We get bullied on Facebook all the time. People make fake pages. They don't take them down. Treat you like a slave. Mm -hmm. I'm done, y'all. I got all that. So... Ain't nothing left on this plate, but you saw how I did it, right? So, I ate dinner with y'all. I've enjoyed y'all. We've chatted and we've chewed. 
I'm about to get off the book. I'm going to get some contract signed and take my client something to eat. Mm -hmm, that's what I'm going to do. Did everybody get to see what I cooked? I live in a small town called Cartersville, Georgia. You know what? If you think so, you better hope you don't, yo, that um, uh, Marsha Stewart. Martha Stewart. Don't argue with nobody. Because let me tell you something, Martha, baby. Come close. Let auntie tell you something, Martha. Listen. Everybody that's scared to eat. Come on. They gonna die one day. They gonna die hungry. Mm -hmm. They might be in a smaller casket, but they gotta die. They got to go back to the dirt. They ain't nothing but old dirt like me. Ain't nobody ever better than nobody on this page. Being better to somebody is not predicated on how much money you got. Don't you ever, ever, ever let nobody make you think they better. They going to die hungry. Because the Bible say the food was made for the stomach and the stomach was made for the food and they both should perish. Honey, couldn't nobody have gotten skinnier than Prince and Michael Jackson? Mm -hmm. They're going to die one day. Let them eat all the carrots and the celery they want and the lettuce. And the very thing they try to speak over other people's lives. They better hope heart conditions don't run in their family. And diabetes don't run in their family. You know, cancer don't care how old you are. Go to Scottish Rite Children's Hospital. Don't let nobody ever make you feel bad. If they don't want to eat it. I respect everybody. Tap the say all the time. Sometimes she crave meat. But she don't eat it. She finds a way around it. Because she had migraines. Like I have back issues. She had a pinched nerve up here. I got one in my back. You do what you got to do. This food ain't for you. Quit watching. But the problem is you can't quit watching. Because you get off when I eat it. Because you want me to eat for you so that it don't be no calories. But I want everybody to know, this was calorie free today for y'all. Yeah. Y'all can have the biggest plate y'all wanted. And every time I bet, you bet. Do y'all do that sometimes? I do that when people be eating and they take a bite. like they, And I'm trying to die. I cut back. When they bite, I bite. When they bite, I bite. My daughter be eating something and I go. She be taking a bite of it and I go. She'll say, Mama, you biting with me today? I guess I am. <laughs> oh, I'll let you see it, Diane Phillips. Come on, baby. We ain't got no respect to person over here. Let me show you what I cook. Turn it around. This is what it is. It's called a potato puncho. A smashed potato puncho. And all this is built up because there's potatoes in it. This one is Natalie's. And inside of it, let me just pull it out for you. Inside of all this goodness, you'll pull out a whole potato. There it is. There it is. Oop, there it is. A whole potato. It's in there. You see that? You see it? Did you see it? Did you see me pull it out? And that's all you got to do is pull out one of them and eat it. Mm -hmm. And I promise you, y'all will love me even more. Get in there. Yeah. Big girl, can you back it up? I'm backing it up. Get in there. Look at that. Honey. Now, I know, now y'all can have a big plate. 
Y'all can go back to third, seconds, and fifths with me. They're not hurting my feelings. You gonna say it's a heart attack waiting to happen. Well, maybe it's a car wreck waiting to happen because you've been eating so much lettuce, you dehydrated. <laughs> and you can't see the forest for the trees. But I don't like to speak negative over people. I like to speak life. So, every now and then, don't be afraid to live. Go back to your lettuce and your carrots and your rutabagas. But every now and then, come on over where the table is spread and the feast of the Lord is going on. Yeah, Jesus, he didn't eat like Daniel. But that's all right how Daniel ate. That was his diet. He's still dead. Daniel dead. The lions didn't eat him, though. No, that was a pillow top mattress. Daniel had a pillow top. The first pillow top mattress in the Bible was in the book of Daniel. When the lions were made pillows for his head to lay. That's your first pillow top. But... Y'all come on over here, y'all anorexic people. Not anorexic because it's mentally sick, but because you just got to be snatched. And you're wearing waist trainers and you're falling out. And you can't breathe. And then you won't come to no functions in the family because you're really not that strong. That's why you don't come to nothing the family have because you really want to eat it. Listen to auntie. Listen to mom and grandma. Get on in that kitchen and fix your plate right now. Get in there. Get your son and take your mama's son home with you. That's what you do. They need to come on over and eat. Do I need to take another bite? Anybody eating lettuce? Let us pray. Yeah, lettuce. Let us pray. Because y'all got to get some substance in you. <laughs> Let me get off of here. Thank you, D thank you, Dre Johnson. So don't argue with them. We are unbothered. They mad because we chose to live on the edge. Go take your cholesterol medicine and your high blood. Child, when I grew up, uh, my DNA is do not ask. Because mm -hmm. uh, black people be having high blood pressure and be dizzy sitting under the tree. And they just go pop a pig cause they, a pill because they was going to eat them pig feed. I don't care what you think. <laughs> it is my heritage to stand erect, proud, and unafraid. To face the world and say, this I have done and be proud of it. That's what I did. Get on off this book with me. Y'all being silly tonight. <laughs> hey, from Colorado. Hey, Brianna. It went so fast. How you, Brianna, girl? Ain't nobody worrying about all that stuff they putting. I, well, I got to get ready to go meet my client. I got to go print this contract off and get this house under contract. I love y'all. Yes, I do. I love you. Yes, I do. I love you. I'm the cook that God has sent. How you like that? Facebook. God, God, God. I love you. Yes, I do. I love you, I'm the cook and you're my friends, I love you, yes I do, I love you, good God Almighty this evening, and I thank you for supporting me, oh I thank you for loving me, cause I love you. Yes, I do. I love you. I'm the cook that God has sent. I'm the cook that God has sent. I'm the cook and you're my friends. I love y'all. Talk to y'all later. Get out the parking lot. No. Mm -mm. 
May the Lord watch between me and thee. Why are we absent? Run from another in Jesus' name. Run from Amen. another in Jesus' name. In whose name? Jesus, the name of the Lord that is a strong tower. We can run into and be saved. Say Jesus, honey. Make them mad. Make the devil mad. Have a good night.